right. Hi, everybody. Home. Welcome again to another session of strength and conditioning with myself, Javier Wanga. I teach here during regular hours when there's no lockdown. Hopefully everybody's home, safe and sound. Uh, but let's all hope the lockdown will be over soon because X is missing a lot of you guys. Uh, so please, lockdown, make sure you go away so we can finally get back at X. Uh, for now, for the time being, we are still providing you with home workouts uh, in this setup. Hopefully you have enjoyed already my previous episodes where we are uh, tackling workouts uh, like we are going to do so today. Um, the setup will be exactly the same. We have three parts, A, B and C, and uh, hopefully you'll join me to building some strength and conditioning. All right, so let's get started. We are going to do some shoulder strength off uh, today from a seated position. Uh, hopefully by now you do have some equipment at home, uh, a kettlebell or a dumbbell or anything else that you can use uh, for weighted training. Okay, so I'll be using a dumbbell and I have set up uh, a little box at the back. You will see it in a minute and hopefully you can do the same at your house. Okay, so we are starting off with a seated strict presses and we are going to apply some tempo to this uh, exercise. And with tempo, I don't mean that you have to speed it up, but I mean that you have to slow it down. Uh, tempo training is very essential for building up the tension in your muscles. Uh, the longer the time under tension, the harder it will, it will be, and thus making you stronger on the long run. All right, so we're gonna do seated strict presses with a specific tempo. Four rounds for quality, eight reps per side. After the strength part, we're going to continue with a Metcon. And here he goes again with his abbreviations. We have the Metcon, the metabolic conditioning. It'll be an MRAP today, as many runs as possible of seven minutes. We're going to do some step overs using a bench or a box, whatever you have. We're going to do some squatting. They're called goblet squats, but what if you have uh, any different type of object that you can use, for example, a backpack, I surely will allow it, of course, uh, for this workout. Uh, we're finishing off with push presses. Now, what's a push press? It'll be a weighted version of a shoulder press, picked overhead, holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell or whatever you have in your house, all right? So that's six, eight, and 10 repetitions for seven minutes long, all right? So that's the metabolic conditioning of today, uh, building strength and conditioning, all right? Uh, we're finishing off with a quality exercise, uh, actually two of them. We're gonna do the single leg Romanian deadlift. It's quite a long word for something. Not that hard if you ask me, just pay close attention. And a single leg hip thruster, okay? So um, I'll be putting back the whiteboard to create some space. You do the same in your living room so we can get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, so welcome again. This is my setup for today. Uh, as you can see, I have here a box, but that's because of the convenience of uh, the location I have here at X. This one comes uh, straight out of the gym. Uh, but obviously, this can be anything in your house, like a chair, a little bench, or whatever. Right? Just make sure that it's about uh, the height up to the knees or something like that, uh, that we can use today for uh, different parts of the workout. I have with me also a dumbbell, all right? That's for the weighted training. Obviously, a towel to drip off the sweat. I have a bottle of water, and not to forget, a phone that I use to time my workouts, okay? So please grab everything here that you see. Uh, again, this is an on-demand video, so press pause right now if you need to grab your stuff. And see you in a second. There you are again. So let's get started. So as I said, uh, we're gonna be starting off with some shoulder strength. So before we do that, I really wanna warm you guys up by doing the following, okay? So let's get down on our knees. All right, hopefully everybody can see me well enough. Uh, I'm putting my hands flat on the floor, just like this, flat on the floor, and my shoulders are right above my hands. Now I wanna make sure that my elbows are completely locked out and I wanna apply some tension and pressure to my wrists by leaning forward, all right? I'm leaning forward and I'm actually making rocking motions. 
back and forth. We kind of loosen up the wrists, so to speak, as we are doing some shoulder presses and we are holding weight in our hands. We really want to make sure that um, the wrists are totally warmed up and ready for action. Okay, I'm going to counter that by putting the back of my hand on the floor as well, but please notice that this is not your type of movement that most people do every day. You know, it's, it's, it can be quite painful. So please make sure you, you do this one with ease. Uh, my fingers are pointing towards me and my elbows are not bent, but they are locked out. So please try to assume this position if you can. And if not, try to slowly get into it and feel the tension and pressure on your wrist. Also for now, we're making rocking motions from back to front loosening up the wrists. All right, to lose it up a little bit more, we're gonna go into some upward, downward dogs. All right, how does this look like? It's a downward movement, leaning or pushing your head through your arms, and then when you come back in, you're really hanging those shoulders. And one more rep. And then leaning back in again. Feel the tension. All right, opening up a little bit more of the complete body, sitting in a full lunge position. When my left foot is in the front, I'll be putting my left elbow to the floor again, and then reach up for the sky. Elbow, sky. Elbow, sky for one more rep. Elbow, and sky. Awesome, let's change it up to the other side. All right, same thing. Right foot in the front, right elbow to the floor, right hand to the sky. All right, down and up, down and up, down and up. For the last one, down and up. All right, good job. Let's stand up for a second. Bring those hands and arms forward one by one. Usually when I train or exercise or do some kind of an online work, it's also kind of a free flow and the way you warm up, you know. Everybody's different and that's okay. This warm up works for me and of course you can follow up and do the same. On the other hand, if you say, I have a slightly different routine for warming up my shoulders, please, by all means, use it. We are prepping ourselves for the shoulder press from a seated position, all right? Okay, I feel quite warm, quite ready. The wrists are open, the shoulder is warm. So I'm gonna do uh, the workout now. Again, seated, strict presses, eight reps per side. We're gonna go four rounds of quality. And we're using a tempo. So I'm having a seated position here. The seat is low enough for me to uh, make complete contact with the floor. And I'm having an upright position. All right, so the way this works is when I have the starting position, the tip of the dumbbell is leaning on my shoulder. And I want to have my elbow pointing forward and not flared out. Obviously, this is also an option. But today, we're not doing it like this but we're doing it like this, right? It's just a slightly different stimulus, right? So when I move up, I slowly bring it back down. It's about two to three seconds, all right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, 
and eight. All right, shake it off a little bit. Get ready for the next side. Bring it up and overhead and slowly down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, that's great. Wow. And again, even if you have a light dumbbell, it doesn't matter because we're doing tempo training. So when the dumbbell comes down, just make sure that it goes down really slow. The time under tension is longer, creating a lot more tension, making it a lot harder than compared to making fast repetitions, all right? So slow it down. You have all the time in the world uh, to get those shoulders ready, okay? All right, so that's one round down. Three more to go. I'm ready. If you're not ready yet, just press pause and follow up as soon as you are, all right? I'm gonna go ahead, round number two. Tip of the dumbbell is touching my shoulder. The elbow is basically pointing forward. I'm having an upright position. And when I press overhead, I go down really slow. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Right. Over to the next side, left. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. All right, that's pretty tough. In between your sets, make sure you take plenty of rest. Keep shrugging the shoulders, turning the arms, keeping everything loose, drink some water and prepare for the next round again. Now you may have noticed that when I press overhead, I go down immediately, really slow though, but as soon as I'm down here, I press up immediately again, all right? So there's barely any time for resting, right? Because when I'm overhead, I go down immediately, and when I'm down again, I go up immediately. So really, there's a lot of time under tension because of the slow tempo downwards, but there's also very limited rest on the top position or bottom position of the movement. Okay, so keep that in account. Crank up the tension. Nice music provided by the DJ. All right, here we go again. Set number three, aim. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. <sighs> Tough job. All right, going on to the left side. Brace yourself. Dumbbell is touching with the tip to the shoulder overhead. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
As you can see, guys, this is no joke. Even though I'm teaching in front of the camera, I'm also doing the workout with you. So hopefully, hopefully you can appreciate that. And I'm telling you, this is not easy. And um, hopefully you can enjoy that as well. Uh, an instructor that works with you rather than telling you what to do. So uh, it's like basically a real life class as you are used to when you come and visit X, hopefully sooner than later. Um, if X is open again, please come and join my class, strength and conditioning, the CrossFit style workouts. I'm sure you'll love it. We have one more set to go, guys. One more set, and then afterwards, we're gonna crank up the intensity by doing a small little metcon, all right? I'm ready for my last uh, set. Please join me. If not, press pause quickly, and then join me when you're ready. Here we go. All right, tip of the dumbbell is touching the shoulder again. Upright position, feet securely onto the floor, pressing overhead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. All right, left side for me, the final one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And that's eight. Awesome. All right, good job, people. Uh, take a little break, drink some water, catch your breath. That's the strength part. Seated strict shoulder presses with a tempo. And if you really, really did the tempo well, like in three seconds down, you should really feel the shoulder burn, all right? If not, that's okay. I mean, we have plenty of more to come. So uh, pay close attention. We are moving on to the next part. Uh, as promised, it's going to be a metcon of seven minutes, an MRAP of seven minutes, as many rounds as possible. Of the following, we're gonna do six bench step overs. Now for me today, this is going to be my bench. Uh, it's the black box that I'm using right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo to you um, how a step up will look like. Uh, obviously, you can step over the box however you want to. For example, you step up and over. Okay, that's one way of tackling this movement. But if you're holding a weight, then how the hell are you going to get over the box? Okay, I have my specific way of doing that. Uh, but you might have yours, and that's pretty pretty okay, okay? So um, I'd like you to have a look at my way of getting over the box. I'm holding my object, in this case a dumbbell, right in front of me with two hands, and I'm basically stepping over sideways, and I'm supporting the dumbbell with my knees. Can you imagine that? It's basically being very efficient, okay? I'm stepping over. I'm crossing behind my other leg and I'm stepping down while switching the dumbbell to the other knee. And then I'm on the other side. Pretty smart, huh? Again, step over and switch. Step over and switch. Jesus, this is super easy, okay? Well, at least for this movement. So please find your most efficient way of getting over the box or the bench while holding something heavy. Okay, it's a trick, but again, you have to be efficient. All right, so that's the first one, six reps of this, then the eight reps of the goblet squat. So what we're doing is we're holding a dumbbell like this, and I have that dumbbell positioned right in front of me, pushing the dumbbell head against my chest. Like this, hopefully I'm not hitting the microphone. Okay, 
And when I go down into a squat, remember the squat principles that I told you the other episode. Um, your feet are positioned slight shoulder width, toes are slightly pointing outwards, and the knees are tracking the toes the moment you go down in a squat, looking like this. All right, so that's your goblet squat. Again, if you don't have any weight, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to use a weight, but I would strongly suggest you do because that's what the intensity is for a little bit, okay? So that's the um, goblet squat, eight repetitions, and then we're finishing off with 10 push presses. Now, um, for the strength part, we were doing the seated press <coughs> using the dumbbell, like this, all right? So we had the seated press. But now we're doing it from a standing position. Again, pressing 10 repetitions. But these are not your regular presses, but push presses. A push press is something where you can use the momentum or the drive and power from your legs. So when I stand with my dumbbell on my shoulder, when I make a dip and a drive, as you can see, the dumbbell slightly comes off my shoulder. That's because the force from my legs is pushing upwards and then translating that momentum into the dumbbell where the dumbbell goes overhead. So dip, drive, dip, drive, dip, drive, all right? And it's 10 reps in total, and I let you decide however you want to divide that over the left or right side. If you want, you can do 10 reps on the right side, of course, but I would strongly suggest you to take five on the right and then five on the left. Or you do 10 on the right, and then in the next round, you do 10 on the left. Okay, so it really depends on how you feel, what you find efficient, and uh, the way you tackle the workout. So again, six step overs, eight squats, 10 push presses, right? The workout time, seven minutes in total. So please take the time to set up, grab yourself some music and some water, and let's get cracking. All right, I'm gonna grab my phone, set up a clock of seven minutes counting down. All right. I am ready, starting with the bench step overs. 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds. Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and that's six, awesome. All right, going into the goblet squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, push presses. One, two, Three, four, five. All right, moving on to the left side. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, that's one round. Let's go, guys. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. 
two, three, four, five. All right, next side. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, and as you notice, they're holding the dumbbell the whole time. Makes it really tough. One, two, three, come on guys, four, five, and six. Still holding on to the dumbbell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, push press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That was a full round on the right side. I'm gonna make sure I do it to the left side in the next round. All right, here we go again. One, two, three, four, halfway, five, and six. Great job, you guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. All right, let's go guys, come on. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, I'm still holding on to the dumbbell. You should too. Let's go guys, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, one, two, three, four, five. I'm switching it up. One, two, three, four, and five. Don't be afraid if you want to put down the dumbbell. That's okay. I'm just going to keep going because we have less than two minutes. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Wow, my legs are burning. Come on, guys. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Can we get the full round in? One, two, three, four, one minute, five. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm speeding it up, come on. Two, three, four, five, and six. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five. 10 seconds, one, 
two, three, four, and five. Come on till the end. Three, two, one, and done. Whoa. Well, oh, guys, I'm sweating. Heart rate is way up there. All right, so I'm taking a little break. As you can see, drink plenty of water, guys. Also, in these cold times outside, you are still sweating a lot. Your body needs it, all right? It needs the liquid. So please make sure that you have plenty of hydration and water, all right? So I'm taking a little bit of a rest. You should as well. But remember, we are not done quite yet. Whew. This workout was really nice. As you can see, workouts of only seven minutes. The other day we did nine or eight minutes. So these things are um, not long, but the time under tension is just immense. So making it really, really effective, also time-wise, you know, we are done in less than 45 minutes. So and you see how much I'm sweating. I'm building up my shoulder strength today and we still have time left to do more work, all right? So training never is about long sessions, all right? Don't kill yourself by doing long sessions that are ineffective, right? It's better to do short sessions and be effective that way, all right? That's also the essence and the setup of strength and conditioning training. So when X opens up again, make sure to pay me a visit. All right, so we're gonna continue to the finisher today. We'll be targeting uh, two movements where we are targeting the hamstrings, the glutes and the lower back again, okay? Uh, this is really good to get that nice rounded shape from the backside, it's always good. Summer bodies are built in the winter, don't forget. Um, one is called the single leg Romanian deadlift. It's quite a long word, but it's quite easy to follow. And the other one is called a hip thruster, and we're doing it single-sided as well, okay? Um, mainly the single leg deadlift is quite difficult. Why? Because you need a lot of balance and good coordination. You know, muscles and brain connectivity is always uh, quite a difficult thing for most human beings, including myself. So let's make sure that we tackle this step by step. All right? So let's have a look. First, before grabbing any weight, I want you to join me and see how well balanced you are. Okay, what I want you to do from a side view, of course, is look forward and we're gonna go on one leg, balancing the right hand to the left foot while the other leg goes up, looking like this. All right, this is called a single leg Romanian deadlift. Quite easy, right? Until you try it. All right, let's, so let's have another look. All right, slowly going down, touching my toes with my fingers, but staying perfectly in line and balanced. Like that. Okay, so that's the single leg Romanian deadlift. Quite easy, right? Um, that one you can also do with a dumbbell. But I will only allow this if you are absolutely sure that you did the one, the version without the weight, perfectly right and stable, all right, and coordinated. So look at me now holding the dumbbell and doing the exact same thing on one side. Okay, so that's the single leg Romanian deadlift. All right, let's see if I can uh, set up the hip thruster, okay? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move over the hip thruster to this side so you can have a clear view on how this would work for me. Right, I'm leaning with kind of my upper back against the bench, in this case, a box. Okay, and what I do, I'm gonna lean against it and about the shoulder position on the side of the box is where I lean on and I bring my hips up like this. 
right? It's called a glute position like this, but as soon as you start moving down and up, it's called a hip thruster. If you would do this movement on the floor, it's called a glute bridge, right? That's a small difference, not very important, but just good for you to know. When we do this one single-sided, what basically happens is you lift one leg, you go down, and you push up. So there's only one side working, right? And as you can see, my elbows are secured on top of the bench or box to control my movement. All right. And these are the two movements that we're going to do right now. All right. Eight reps per side, three rounds for quality. All right. So let's get started. Starting off with the Romanian deadlift. All right. I'm going to stand right here for enough room to move. All right. So let's go. Slowly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job, guys. If you can manage this, I must say, it's quite a difficult movement. If you got this, Awesome you, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, put the dumbbell down. We're gonna go straight into the hip thruster. One leg is up. Make sure that when you push up the hips, you press the heel down into the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wow, feeling the booty there, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wow. All right, good job. That's one round. We got two more to go. All right, I'm ready again. Quick sip of my water. All right, let's go, guys. Starting off, can I come a little bit more to the front? Yeah, I guess so. Plenty of space. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, next side. One, two, you see that balance? Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wow, this feels good. Uh, yeah. Here we go, guys. All right, make sure you have a proper, nice table position. When the leg comes up, the one that pushes into the floor should be the heel. Push the heel into the floor, guys. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh. Ouch. That's really good. We have one more set to go. One more, guys. Please bear with me. One more set of pure balance, coordination, and strength. Okay? Again, if you don't feel comfortable using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, leave it. All right? I'm proud of you anyway. All right, let's go. I'm ready for the final round. Here we go. Single leg Romanian deadlift. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Switch it up to the other side. One, two, Three, controlled, four, five, six, come on guys, seven, come on, and eight, final movement, the hip thrusters, hip thrusters guys, come on. Again, laying flat on my back here, shoulders against the bench, the side of the bench or the box. One leg comes up, and I'm pressing down with my heels into the floor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wow. I'm sitting down just for a second to realize what we've just done. A full workout, guys, in less than 40 minutes. Can you imagine that? And I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm actually tired from this workout. So it means it must have been effective and hopefully it has been effective for you as well. This has been the third episode. If you really liked it, uh, hopefully there's more to come. In any case, I'll be back here at X as soon as we open up again. So I would really invite you to come over and um, yeah, get to know me and get to know the people at X, get to know the environment. Unfortunately, we are all still stuck in this lockdown, uh, but as you can see, X is providing you with some quality, quality workouts given by not only myself, but also my dear colleagues who give and push themselves every day for your fitness all right, and your health. So please check out the other videos as well. And um, yeah, that's it for me from now, from X and uh, See you next time. Cheers.